Ray is a rapidly growing open source project. In this short presentation, I'll describe the Ray ecosystem and community. Along the way, I'll list some reasons behind the growing adoption of Ray. Ray is often described as a platform for scaling Python applications. In practice, this means that Python developers can take their existing programs and with minor additions and modifications, Ray lets them run those programs across a compute cluster. But Ray is also general enough that companies and users are building flexible libraries and other frameworks on top of it. There are two types of libraries in the Ray ecosystem. First are libraries for new workloads. Examples include libraries built on top of Ray that address different aspects of machine learning. Secondly, there are drop-in replacements for parallelizing existing libraries used by Python developers. Let's take a closer look at two widely used libraries. Tune is a popular Python library for experiment execution and hyperparameter tuning at any scale. Hyperparameter tuning is the computationally intensive process of choosing an optimal set of hyperparameters for a machine learning model. There are already many users of Tune spanning different application domains, and it is now one of the more popular open source libraries for hyperparameter tuning. RLlib is an open source library for reinforcement learning that offers both high scalability and a unified API for a variety of applications. It is already being used in several enterprises. For example, JP Morgan uses RLlib to power electronic trading models. As we start seeing more applications and use cases for reinforcement learning, we expect RLlib to attract a large share of developers needing to integrate reinforcement learning into their applications. Next, let's take a look at two newly released libraries. Ray SGD is a new lightweight Python library that simplifies distributed training for PyTorch and TensorFlow. Users can scale to hundreds of GPUs across multiple nodes with a single parameter. This solves an increasingly common bottleneck, the need to train very large deep learning models. RayServe is a new model serving library that supports complex and scalable machine learning pipelines. It can be used to serve predictions for large scale interactive machine learning applications. These are just a few examples. We described other libraries built on top of Ray in a recent blog post, which you can find on anyscale.com slash blog. Unlike other end-to-end -end machine learning platforms, each of these libraries and tools can be used on their own. A simple pip install and off you go. For example, if you are in need of a hyperparameter tuning library, you can use Tune without needing to introduce the other Ray libraries. This flexibility explains why Ray's libraries have attracted many developers who need to build machine learning and Python applications. Developers and machine learning engineers are accustomed to building applications that use many different libraries written by different parties. Having a number of import statements in a Python program is quite common. Another important point to emphasize is that each of these libraries helps grow awareness and usage of Ray. In recent conversations with users, we found that many of them began using Ray through one of these libraries and tools. These libraries also serve as entry points through which many users learn about the broader Ray ecosystem. While Ray users can pick and choose which libraries and tools to use, we have long believed that most of them will end up using more than one of these libraries. 
Recent conversations with over 40 companies have borne this out. As users become comfortable with one of these tools, they end up using the other Ray libraries as well. So far, we focus on users of libraries and tools built on top of Ray. But I'd like to stress that there are also many users of Ray Core. They tend to fall into two main categories. First are users who need to scale a Python program or application. For example, I recently spoke with a researcher from Oak Ridge National Laboratory here in the United States. He needed Ray for several large-scale machine learning and natural language applications. Secondly, there are the users who need to create scalable and high-performance libraries. A great example here comes from one of the largest financial services companies in China. Ant Financial has written libraries on top of Ray to support their massive scale fraud detection and personalization systems. We plan to conduct a formal survey of Ray users in the very near future. But for now, think of Ray as both a general purpose distributed computing platform and as a collection of libraries targeted at machine learning and other workloads. Unlike other monolithic platforms, users of Ray are free to use one or more of the existing libraries or to use Ray to build their own library. For more on Ray, attend one of the upcoming free virtual conferences happening monthly beginning May 13th. Visit anyscale.com events for details. Thank you.